highway fuel economy numbers. This motor turns out 360 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds of torque. To give heavy-footed drivers some help, the TAC has a display indicating the most economical way to drive the Durango. Depending on which trim level you are looking at, it comes with either 18 or 20 inch wheels and four-wheel disc brakes. In a week of driving, we found the combination gave it an almost car-like feel in city and rural situations. A third row of seating is standard like the competition in the segment. So when the last two rows are folded flat, there's more than 84 cubic feet of cargo space. Even at the mid-range level, the interior is classy with an improved level of fit and finish as well as relatively acceptable hip point for getting in and out. Overall, the changes and technical improvements are long overdue for the Durango, which had disappeared from production for a short time when Chrysler was facing corporate extinction. Now the company hopes the driving public will give the vehicle a second chance to impress. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think. So email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.